guys. Today we're going to be learning about the artist Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh was born in the Netherlands in 1853. He was 27 when he decided to become an artist. Before this, he had lots and lots of other jobs. He was a teacher, a minister, a missionary. He worked in a bookshop. He had lots of jobs before he decided on becoming an artist. In 1888, when he was 35 years old, he moved to France. In this time, he painted hundreds of pieces of art, and sometimes he would actually paint masterpieces in a single day. He was a complicated character, and he's actually famous for cutting off his own ear in 1889 and giving it to a woman named Rachel. After being committed to a mental hospital in 1889, he continued to paint. And it was in this time that he painted some of his most famous paintings, Irises and Starry Night. He died in 1890. Today, Van Gogh's paintings rank among the most expensive in the world. And during his lifetime, he completed over 2,100 works. These include 860 oil paintings, and more than 1,300 watercolour sketches and drawings. Van Gogh's paintings of sunflowers are his most famous. He did them in Arles, in the south of France, in 1888 and 1889. He painted a total of five large canvases with sunflowers in a vase, with three shades of yellow. In this way, he showed that it was possible to create an image with lots of different ways with a single colour. In today's lesson, we're going to be making our own sunflowers. So this is what we're going to be creating today, guys. For this, you are going to need a few things and I'm going to show you the bits and pieces that we need and how we put it all together. And then I'm going to uh, give you a time-lapse video so that you can see how the whole thing comes together from beginning to end. Uh, so that you know the steps to follow. So, let's put this aside for now. You need the back of an old exam pad. So I've just used this. You can probably find it pretty easily around your house. Just look at the back of an exercise book or an exam pad. Um, it's this hard cardboard. If you don't have anything like this, you can use a cardboard box. Um, something a little bit stiff is a better option because it's going to hold the weight of the magazines and, and the elements a little bit easier. So that's what you're going to start with. You're also going to need some uh, newspapers from around the house. You've probably got old newspapers lying around. And from the newspaper, I'm going to cut a little piece like that. And this is what is going to be the vase that's going to hold my flowers. So I'm just going to draw almost like a bulbous shape. So nice round bottom of the vase and coming around the sides like this. If you don't get it perfect, don't worry, just do the best you can. And at the top it's going to go round like the bottom of the vase. So you're going to follow the same lines around the vase. If you go straight across, it's going to flatten the vase. And what we're trying to create is a little bit of a three-dimensional quality. So remember? Follow the lines along all the way. Right, once you've done that, you're going to cut it out and then we're going to colour it. Now you'll notice that I have split my bars in half or just roughly half because that's what it's like in the Van Gogh Sunflower series. Now I meant to show you this at the beginning. If you haven't got a picture of the Van Gogh flowers, then what I would suggest you do is see if you can find one online. And if you have a printer at home, print it out. My printer isn't working, so I've actually just taken a screenshot and I've put it on my phone, or you can use your iPad, just so that you have a reference to work from. Now, um, you can see that my vase is slightly different to the one in the picture. If you want to make yours rounded and then coming a little bit thinner towards the bottom that's up to you I've just done it like that for today what I was wanting to show you was this middle line here is this line that I've created so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint and um, the vase I'm just going to put this aside for now it's probably going to go off in a minute 
so let me put it over there and I'm going to paint it using watercolor paints now I've time-lapsed this for you um, so I'm just going to roughly show you the top I'm going to do in a yellowy color now the color scheme for this painting and collage is obviously all different shades of yellows and blues Okay, so they're very, they're very few colors that we need in this palette. It's really just odd shades of yellows and blues. Uh, there is no red, there's no pink or purple. It's just a couple of different shades. And that's what made Van Gogh special because he painted many, many paintings using the same color schemes. So the top I'm going to do yellow, the bottom I'm going to do blue, you can make, you make it a little bit of a turquoisey blue. If you want to make it lighter, mix a bit of white in it. And paint straight over your vase. My paint's gone a bit dry, so just remember to add a little bit more water so that it goes on a bit smoother. And then once you've painted your vase, you're going to put it to the side and we will get to a point in our project where you'll see that we outline it, but you'll see that happen the time lapse. So just for today's purpose of showing you the important steps, I'm just going to do that. Now what you can do is pop this aside. Okay, you've got your piece of cardboard and your vase needs to sit on a surface. So what you're going to do is you're going to take about a third of your paper. So if your paper is split into thirds like that, so if it's split into thirds, that means it's split into three parts. You're going to take one of those parts to make the surface. And you can just draw a line all the way across. You don't need a ruler, you can do it freehand, that's no problem. Once you've done that, you're going to paint the surface area one color, and you're going to paint the background or the wall another color. So for that purpose, I actually used oil pastels. Um, the colors that I used to do the bottom, I used different shades of blue. So I used light blue, dark blue, even darker, and even darker, and a bit of white. And I just went in one direction from left to right, and then from for the background of the wall, I used shades of yellow. So those sort of colors. Now there are some Van Gogh pictures where it's the other way around so if you wanted to have a look at some other Van Gogh sunflower pictures and you might want to do the wall a turquoisey blue color and the surface your yellow color so have a look and see what Van Gogh sunflowers look like he obviously did a series so although there's many pictures of sunflowers in the same or similar color palette he did vary them slightly with his colors so choose one of the sunflowers that you like and base your um, work on those color schemes so for today's project I chose blue down here on the surface and yellow tones on the top once I had um, done my surface I stuck my vase onto the surface and then I very roughly just drew some um, stems for the flowers you want probably about eight seven to nine maybe eight nine um, stems just yeah up to you some short some long you want your your sunflowers different sizes and in different places and overlapping each other so once you've sorted your base out, put it aside and then what you're going to have to do is, <laughs> and this takes a little bit of prep and um, you're going to want to do this because it helps later on. I've sat and I've looked in the magazine and I've cut up pieces of paper in the color schemes of the picture that I want. So I've got various shades of blues, of greens, of yellows orangey yellows, a little bit of red, there's a whole load of browns, I've got turquoise colors, blue, uh, like a denim blue, white, um, because I didn't know how I wanted to do my picture. So based on the Van Gogh picture that you like of sunflowers, um, then look at magazines, you just need ordinary magazines from home, just have a flick through the pages, 
um, find pages that have got the colors that you want. So um, sort of down the side there and cut out strips of paper in the various colors. Now I've used a baking tray just because I found it easier to organize my color scheme so that when you do start to work and stick your flowers together, uh, it's pretty simple. You're not digging through loads and loads of paper, it's all organized. So it's best to get this organized before you start your sticking. Um, you can do this while you're waiting for your paint to dry on your vase um, or yeah, whenever. But what I would suggest you do is you you do this ahead of time. Right, so those are my papers. Now, what I did was I've cut my papers, but you can tear them if you want a softer look. So my, paper, my um, sunflowers are quite hard and quite stiff. Now, if you wanted yours to be a little bit softer, you could actually tear your magazine strips rather than cut them. Um, that's entirely up to you. So, um, not only did I cut the strips out of the magazines, but I also found pages and magazines that had the colors that I wanted. So, for instance, I found this page in a magazine with a whole load of oranges on, <laughs> and I just drew various circles all over them, different sizes, different um, shapes of oval circles, and then I cut those out, um, which you'll see in the time lapse. And those I stuck onto my stems. So I'll just show you quickly. So that went there. And then I cut these out like this. And you can get different yellows, you can get different textures. The more varied, uh, the more interesting your flowers are going to look. So I just cut them all out and I stuck them on the ends of my stems. So if you look again, we're going to be referring back to Van Gogh sunflowers pictures again and again, just so that you can check how you're doing. Um, you'll notice that on his picture, there are some that are open and there are some that are closed. So, for example, that one is quite a small little sunflower, whereas this one is properly opened. Um, this one is, is more um, it's solid rather than that one that has lots of petals. So, although you're going to use these as a base, you're only going to put petals on some of them. So on my one, you can see I put petals on one, two, three, four of my sunflowers, and yet on this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, I've left it as the circle. The only thing I've done to them is I've put the middle of the flowers on. So um, that just also, again, gives it a little bit more variety and um, interest to your picture. So guys, once you have your base, then um, what you do is you stick them where you want them on the ends of the stems, and then after that, you start to stick all your flowers on, that you, all the petals on that you'll see in the time lapse. Um, so that takes a, a, a little while, so you have to be patient. This is a patience project. It's going to take a long time, but guys, you can even do this over a couple of days. There's no rush. It's a project that you can keep coming back to and do a little bit every day, and eventually you'll end up with a beautiful sunflower picture. Once you've finished your sunflower picture, just like Van Gogh did in his painting, I want you to write your name on the vase. So on all his vases, he wrote Vincent. Can you see it there? Right? So I've wrote, written my name under the line. So you can try and replicate Van Gogh's sunflowers as best as you can and uh, have fun doing it, guys. <laughs>